and welcome to the DCC Dead Club City. All the heaven, all the time. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortune. Now, see that one? You're gonna have to explain to me. It's a, it's a song. Oh, okay. Well, that's all the explanation needed. If you look up "Welcome to the DCC," you'll under you'll understand. Okay. Guess I'll have to look up the DCC. It's different from the DKC, which is Dick Kick City. Nothing but thieves, eh? Yes. Oh, this is actually a fairly recent song, apparently. Yeah. It came out in 2023. Yep, came out earlier this year. The album it's on oh. released in June. That song the ab absolutely slaps, by the way. You know, you were saying on Facebook about a song slapping. Is that the aforementioned song? Yes. I just love when the first thing I have to deal with when I pop open Doom is uh, Mank You Bye. With them big old man TTs. Yeah, with their sound that sounds like Hump Your Mom. <laughs> hump Your Mom, Hump Your Mom, Hump, hump, your... hump your Mom. Is there a bunch of, is a bunch of fat cockneys just wandering around? Hump Your Mom. Are they asking me <laughs> if they want to hump my mom or I don't. Or are they saying that they humped your mom? Or yeah, oh the, god, context is co co context is appropriate here. I'm taking this and this. So here's a here's a little uh, a little PSA from me to all of you. Uh huh. Um, if you're in a wrestling company and several fights happen in the course of a few months. And the common denominator is you. Just leave. Chances, chances are, <laughs> chances are, you're probably the problem. Isn't that right, Phil? Yep, I would say that he's probably the problem at that point. Can we get a can we get a picture of CM Punk? Just his big fat stupid face. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> okay. Having a fight with Luke Perry's kid. I'm probably Son. going to bloat his face a little bit in Photoshop just to make it even fatter. <laughs> Look at your stupid fat, fucking stupid fat face. <laughs> fat, 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 fat. You're fat. Not just like Scott Steiner's dad. Don't get used to that, me coming in at just slightly over part time, 100%. <laughs> That'll never happen again. In fairness, that, that level is, pretty, is, is as simple as the name indicates. Oh, I dislike this level. I remember it. I remember it. Those cacodemons in the fucking walls. No, I'm serious. Here they come out the walls. Shit, they're like wall masters. Oh no! Except even oh. more dangerous because they're like flying ball sacks. Yeah. Oh, there's and a hide behind the skin pillars. <laughs> There's a sentence. That is definitely a sentence. I'm sure you never thought you'd say in your life. Hide behind the skin pillars. Once. It, January thirteenth, nineteen ninety-seven. Did it involve a video party. on? Did it involve a video on Red Tube? No. No. Okay. Well, it, that that's good at least because that could have ended a lot it worse. Was, it was a twelfth birthday party. There was a lot of grain alcohol and pixie sticks and a dare. How do you and get a watch? How do you get a and skin? We watched Hellraiser three. Look at that. Oh, I see. It's like how do you get a skin pillar out of a dare unless you're tearing your own skin off? That's quite I disturbing. Dare you, I dare you to watch Hellraiser three and not be like oh, this would be. Actually, it really doesn't suck that much. It's not very good, but it's not bad. There's certainly worse movies that are third in the franchise. Take a look at Leprechaun, for example. Mm -hmm. It's pretty bad. I believe uh, Leprechaun 3 was a Leprechaun in the Hood, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, it could always be oh, worse. Yeah. 
Leprechaun 3 was the one in Las Vegas, I think. Was it? Which one was in the hood? Was that, that 4 then, or um, 11, or 63? I don't remember which Leprechaun it was. 72. Leprechaun 72. Remember when they sent Actually, Leprechaun to space? That was some shit. Leprechaun in the hood was number 5, and Leprechaun back to the hood was number 6. Jesus, they had to go back to the hood? Like once wasn't yeah. enough? Hey, listen, there might have been some unfinished business with, with, with a guy named Pookie. You That'd don't be know. like if I went to Detroit and somebody there killed my entire family and I'm like, oh, I'll, let me go back to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the reasoning behind that. There's so many backpacks. I call the backpacks full of ammo. Backpack, backpack. Eat them up, yum. Oh, that's fish heads, not backpacks. Oh, that's fair. I took the fish head out to see a movie. Didn't have to pay to get him in. <laughs> fish heads, fish heads, probably, probably fish heads. <laughs> Listen, yeah. Spectre. Wait for me to get out of the teleporter before you start gnawing my bones. Thank you. That's all I they ask. can't play baseball. They don't wear sweaters. They're not good dancers. They don't play drums. Fair. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Listen, look it up. Those are the lyrics to the I, song. I am aware. It's just that the cadence is also right on. And the fact that you know not only the words to the song, but how it's sung says a lot. Well, that song is ingrained in my Matula Abangan. I would imagine. Dr. Demento is ingrained in a lot of our Medulla Oblongs. <laughs> Here's another song by Weird Al, even though he's a much bigger star than I am now. He really is. He really became that. Mm -hmm. it, although, in fairness, I will say, like... Oh, my God. I will say... Oh. What? What? Look at what you're. Look at this. What? What are you talking about? I got invincibility. I think it's okay. And when this runs out, I got like three more. <laughs> I think okay. I'll be okay. I was, I was getting a little nervous for you, but all right, whatever. I, 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 guess I, 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 I think I'll be all right. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> no! No! I got it. I picked up another. Whoever developed, whoever made this room, whoever built this room, was very generous they, with the invincibilities. They must have known. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're de close quarters with the cyber demon, but here's three invincibilities, actually like five. You'll be all right. I probably won't even use all these. Yeah. Boom. And this is a, a super charge. Got him. So I don't even need that, but I'll probably take it here in a second. If I only knew which one was the yellow key, because a yellow key door, because I can't tell which color is which when it's all black and white inverted. Is this it? No. Oh. Oh, it's that door. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's go here first. Hell. <clears throat> hey, red key. Uh huh. That's, that's sweet. Oh, hey, look at that. Another, another invulnerability. Oh no. The developers of this level were just oh so kind. Probably Sandy Peterson, if I had to guess. He did most of the levels in Doom Two. There, are, it's a, it's a like an eighty-five percent chance it was Sandy Peterson. No American McGee this time? Uh, no, he made a few. Uh, well, shit. Well, that's true. Uh, nope, I'll fix this. There. Oh, no, oh, there we go. I'm not about to let... Uh, whoa, I should probably... Can we turn... Can I turn clipping off now, please? There we go, thank you. So I'm not allowed to let the uh, fucking 
Some sinking platforms do me in. No, no, no. No, nay, nay, nay. No converts today. Tricks and traps. Mm. Entering the pit. Ooh. If, oh, a yeah. slipknot song come, if a Slipknot song comes on, <laughs> that's going to be bump. I know. Now, I want to know... I, I understand some damaging surfaces, like the the red is lava and the green is slime. What is this? Um, this appears to be poop. Damaging poop. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's the joke answer. But if I had to give a real guess, some kind of like toxic sludge. That sounds reasonable. But then again, isn't poop just toxic sludge? Well... In a way, in a manner yeah, of speaking. Yeah, in a, in a way, you know. Um, I definitely I definitely wouldn't want to step on it. I don't know if it would drain my health by walking on it, but maybe. Actually, it might. If you walked on it barefoot, it might. It might give you fucking E. coli. Or septus. Yeah, you don't want that. People <laughs> die from that. No. It's true. Oh. Um. So I'm assuming that I. What, do I, I do I conduct with my shotgun? Do I conduct with my shotgun? <laughs> oh, there's a door. I see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they were Those fighting. Those two were fighting. Yeah, Those but, two were. I know, but one of them was in my way. I wasn't going to get anywhere unless I shot him. Okay, hang on. A like you can fight, you... you can fight each other, yes, but don't do it in the middle of where I'm trying to walk. <laughs> Your dog is what? Keep barking her brains out. I don't know what the problem is. I'm gonna. I might have to go down and investigate because usually when she's barking this frantically, there's. Something amiss, so I'm just keeping an ear out. Okay. Uh, it's, always, it's always satisfying when you can shoot and kill three enemies with one shot. Uh, I'm getting old, Jack. It's getting to the point where if I even look at spicy food, I'm wiping fire. <laughs> That's true. I feel it some days. I felt it yesterday. I was telling Dane before we started recording that uh, I spent all day yesterday laid up with a migraine. One of the worst migraines I've probably had in my entire life. Because it lasted from Monday evening until literally earlier this afternoon. And it was pretty bad. And it was to the point where my roommates were like, Dude, if your migraine lasts much longer than this, you need to seek medical help. <laughs> Because it's usually underlying of, a, of another sy symptom. I'm just like, well, that's shitty. I hope it goes away then. Because I definitely I don't have the money say, to spend on that. <laughs> well, is there are there any kind of like walk-in clinics near you? I mean, I'm sure there are. I just have to figure out where they are. But <laughs> thankfully... Like, yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Can I say, if you break your leg, do you still have to go to a walk-in clinic? Just you wanted, know, just wanted to know that. I, I, I would suspect. I think at that point it'd be a, a limp-in clinic. <laughs> I would suspect if you broke your leg, probably not a good idea to go to a walk-in clinic. It's just like, oh, okay, Mr. Johnson, we'll. Um, We'll give you uh, some uh, packs for your uh, flu. How about you, sir? I've broken both my legs. Uh, okay, so you're going to have to wait. Um, Miss Johnson's arm feels funny. Oh, thank God the step came back. Good. I needed that. <laughs> Who has close? Oh. 
there's a so I was listening to uh lithium on my way home as you do as I do and uh tonic is going on tour wow with like they're going on tour with gin blossoms and a couple of other bands wow. but it was a very like eclectic group of bands like hey ooh, what happens if we get all these bands into a room together the results might shock you funny enough and i've probably mentioned this before but i have seen gin blossoms yeah they were fine that was the band that uh i because it was they were performing on uh the dell campus because i was with mm-hmm. somebody at the time whose father worked for dell and uh they were performing there for a private function, and I happened to be wearing my uh, a Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt. And the lead singer of Jim Blossoms, his name escapes me at the moment, um, actually came, comes up to me and high-fives me for wearing a Sonic shirt. And I thought that was really fucking cool. Wow. Sweet, dude. Depending on... Uh, it was Robin Wilson. He's the lead singer. Yeah. Oh my God, he he kind of looks like uh, Jeff Goldblum's older brother. Like, uh, 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 I found out about you. <laughs> can we get a can we get a side by side of Robin Wilson and uh, 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 whispers uh, at the bus stop? Uh, 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 I've heard, I've heard about, about nights out at the night. uh, uh, schoolyard. I uh, uh, was there some, out about you. Hang on a second. Was there some hanky panky going on at the schoolyard? That's kind of go. That's kind of naughty. Was it me and Julio out by the schoolyard? Uh, uh, that is uh, uh, Paul Simon. Uh, hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Jim, I mean, I'm trying to figure out the other uh, bands that are supposed to be touring with Tonic and Jim Blossoms because it's one of those things where it's like, oh, that band and that band? Oh, okay, like that's a weird eclectic mix of... Uh, it's like bands that, you, r- bands that you've heard like two or three songs from, but you didn't realize, like, had long, full careers. And just like, Not even so much of that. It's just, like, it, it really felt like insert grunge uh, alternative 90s band here. Arr. It's like, oh, it's uh, Gin Blossoms and Tonic and Marcy Playground and fucking <laughs> Crash Test Dummies and shit like that. And <laughs> And and Seven Mary Three or whatever the fuck they're called. Yes, that Seven Mary Three. That is correct. Or uh, uh, fucking Collective Soul. <laughs> or or Bouncing Souls. If, if you're into that sort. There you go. What is better, a Collective Soul or a Bouncing Soul? A Bouncing Collective Soul. Oh my! Here's somebody coming up to the door. Let me go see what's going on here. Uh, Mr. Forjone, uh, we're here to arrest your dog for barking a lot. Um, he won't stop barking. I don't know why. We've never really had to arrest a dog before, so we, we had to have two pairs of handcuffs, one for each set of legs, uh, the back legs and the front legs. Uh, we don't understand why uh, your dog won't stop barking. Uh, there's nobody out here. I don't I don't understand the point. Pause recording because there's a something going on that needs my attention. 
Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, Dane had a thing he uh, he had to check on. Uh, we're we're back though. Yeah. It, the landscaper came today for unannounced somehow. Yeah, real. And I I don't really get the memos. Apparently. <laughs> That would explain why the dog was going nuts, though. Yeah. 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 You got a guy walking around the house looking like a thief. <laughs> I guess that'll happen. He kind of does look very disheveled and dirty. And stuff. Ah, I'm your landscaper! <laughs> Actually, he's a an old Italian guy. He sounds he kind of sounds like a Guido Salducci. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of cake, a piece of chrome cake. I came here to uh, do your landscaping, and uh, and now I'm gonna do you. Go <laughs> oh, bend over. <laughs> Hey, I worked with a Bendover in high school. Yeah. yeah. He was uh, best friends with uh, Buster Hyman and Seymour Hyman. That's right. <laughs> and Ben Pants. <laughs> I love Ben Pants. Yeah. And then... And Amanda D.P. Throat. <laughs> love that one. And Reginald Sackbuster. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I uh, he also went with uh, Ben O Verbitch. <laughs> uh, some of these guys got jobs, but you know there we are. I came here to uh, I came here to look at your drain pipe. If you get what I'm saying, this is uh, this is my work partner, Clee Torres. Clee mm. Torres. Say hello, Clee. How you doing? Hi, I'm Clee Torres. <laughs> I like vaginas. Yeah, yeah, we, we know, Clee. We know. Yeah, we know you like vaginas. Uh, you're, uh, my friend uh, is uh, developmentally disabled. Uh, <laughs> You might, uh, you might have noticed that. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Just we put the we we give him the we give him rubber tools and he he thinks he's helping. It's fine. He's what you would call a couple of Crayola short of a box. Right. <laughs> he's a couple of cannolis short of a but baker's dozen. You know. Right. Saying? Right. Right. Actually, I could go for a cannoli right now. Yeah. And you know what? Well, fuck this drainage pipe. Let's get some cool <laughs> Fuck this uh, that drainage pipe. That was a... Yeah. Well, actually, you know in Klee, he will probably stick his Johnson in the drainage pipe. So maybe I should watch my words very carefully. Yeah. And the one thing you should know about Klee is uh, he might be developmentally disabled, but uh, he he's quite able downstairs if you get my if you get my meaning. He's got a giant John Johnson. You know that song, Devil's Johnson? Yeah, that's his. It was, it was based on the uh, Ethel Meeplow, based on his wiener. Yeah, because it's 6.66 .66 inches long. Oof. And there's a pentagram tattooed on it for some strange reason. <laughs> Mm. It's literally the Devil's Johnson. Smoking on the Devil's Johnson. Hmm. Is that like smoking the Devil's Lettuce? It's a song by Ethel Meeplow. Oh. I did not know that. Knowing is half the battle, G.I. Joe. That's literally, that's like their one song that everybody knows. And it was, it became fairly famous because it was on Beavis and Butthead. Oh, okay. I might, I, I seem to be remembering that. He said Don Johnson. 
<laughs> bon Johnson. That's if you no, com- Don Johnson. I was going to say, Bon Johnson is if you combine both lead singers of ACDC. One of us is dead. How could this be? So he's half dead? Like yeah. To, like JR's face? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 I don't know why it turned into the Tasmanian devil there. I don't just uh don't 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 mind never mind the buzz cops. Come, come to Tasmania, come to Tasmania. I remember that show. Mm, yes. that very short lived Tasmania show. All I know is this the, the dad used to go blah 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 yak it is it. <laughs> that, uh, that's where we got it from because I, I used to say yeah. that all the time and uh, he, he, he liked the joke was he liked orange juice because he was like it was like a Bing Crosby thing oh, oh how about right. some nice orange juice yeah blah 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 yeah, kiddish, mah, kiddish. I'm Taz I'm Taz's father <laughs> yeah basically babe or whatever resembles Voiced a father by. figure in this absurd series. Voiced by Maurice Labarge. I thought you were gonna say something like really out there, like Ethel Merman. <laughs> well, hi everybody, I'm Taz's father. <laughs> you know, you know, folks. Let me be serious for a second. It's very interesting that I'm voicing his father in a 1991 show when I died in 1984. <laughs> that's that real. That is actually you. that's really impressive. Actually, yeah. you can voice a character in a cartoon seven years, seven after, years you after you die. Yeah, that's pretty. They impressive. had the AI technology back then. Too. I guess so. There's no mania like Tasmania. <laughs> like any mania I know. Well, maybe WrestleMania. Yeah, that's a pretty big mania. But then again, she died before the first WrestleMania as well. That's true. If she had just lasted another year, she would have been there. She might have been there, yeah. I mean, they had Liberace, so why not Ethel Merman, you know? Hey, hey, Vince, here's a great idea. Let's get a closeted gay guy to be the uh, at WrestleMania. Well, that uh, sounds all right. Pal. Yeah, but all right. We already know Hulk Hogan's going to be in the main event. <laughs> wow. We already know Pat Patterson's going to be there. Yeah. He's going to come up with the Royal Rumble in like three years. <laughs> And he's a and he's a gay mo. He's a gay mo. I can just imagine Vince McMahon saying it just like that too. Well, I'm, I'm sure he would say something else, but I'll, I'll get the dad if I stay. Well, yeah, that's fair. He's a fat piece of shit. Hey, how about that? <laughs> he's a fantastic wrestler. It's true. He was the first Intercontinental Champion. Well, you know, the uh, <clears throat> tournament in Rio de Janeiro. That really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Um. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it really happened. That that actually happened. So I, I don't know. People, uh, what do you, what, what, what? Really? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like don't that? Don't look it at me ha- like that. It happened. Prove it didn't. <laughs> Did you just open the blue door for me? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, never mind. I don't even have the blue key, and he somehow opened the blue door for me. What a nice hell bear. Yeah, what a nice baron of hell. <clears throat> Too bad he's probably going to try and kill you. Well, I mean, yeah. Be harder for him to do if I'm invincible, I guess. 
and he's dead. How am I even <clears> able <throat> to open the blue door from this side? That's strange. I shouldn't be able to this open like it at war. all. Don't don't ask Oops. don't ask questions. Just 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 go. But yeah, I don't have the blue what? keys. That's weird that I was able to get in there early. Oof. Because I guarantee once it closes, I won't be able to open it again. Yep. That's a little strange little glitch that just happened. See, you find something fun and new and doom every time you play it. See, you make jokes about Ethel Merman and the game glitches out. Yeah. Isn't that how <laughs> And the game, the game opens the blue door for you without you even having the key. Hi, Jason. Like, well, my, it's like, oh my god, if you sh shut up about Ethel Merman, we'll open the door for you. Now I have the blue key card. Now you have Ethel Merman, Ethel Merman, Ethel Merman. Yeah, it's we true. just had a very strange thing happen where the where Baron of Hell opened the blue door to come at me and I was able to get into the blue door early <laughs> without having the key. <laughs> Uh, Speedrun strats, which is odd because I, oops, I didn't even trigger the damn thing. It just came after me. Well, it probably was alerted when I was firing the gun at other enemies. That just happens, but like, still, was not counting on that <laughs> to happen. But now I have the blue key, so it doesn't matter. It don't matter. None of this matters. This matters. How's it going, Jace? Tired. Very tired. I feel that. Um, okay. I've been having hey. to. I've been having to live in this room with no lights on or anything for the last day because I've had a migraine. It's been hey, fucking uh, killing yeah. me. I know excuse that feeling with migraines. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Amherst. This is Phil Brooks. How you doing? Listen, are you, are you at work right now? Uh, depends on the definition of the word work. Uh, are you in your car? Goods, ex goods done in exchange for money or services. Money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so that thing that you uh, managed to not do for half of your contract so far. Oh, yes, hey, yeah. precisely. Look at me. Hey, you got jokes. Much as I'm up in. Yeah, hi. Are you in a car? Are you in a car with glass? I mean, yes, I am in a vehicle with Bluetooth. You, you, you're using glass? What, what, what the fuck's wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Luke Perry's son? Well, would, would you like a glass of Pepsi, Mr. Phil? Ooh, you know what? You're banned from Saturday. That does it. I am banning you. You know, Friday, every Friday at 12 o'clock, you're going to disappear and you're not going to wake up again until 9 a.m. on Sunday. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> CM, Punk, CM Punk prances away crying. <laughs> uh, honestly, like, at this point, him being an AEW has been a. A massive waste of money, aside and, from like the merchandise sales and ticket sales. And like, B, you know, and B, there is he's no been B. either suspended or injured for fifty percent of the time. You know, CM Punk being an AEW has been a a dismal failure. B, that's it. No, there is no Bay. I was, there's no B. There's no Bay either. I, you know, I just feel like. I feel like at this point, CM Punk is taking the Squidward approach. Everyone's an idiot except for me. Pretty oh, he much. legitimately is. Oh, I work with children. I hate this company. Apparently, apparently he said that I mean, after the fracas. Well, I mean, think well, about if it. you hate the company they, so much, they didn't book taxis for their people. To up from the uh, hotel. <laughs> it's like if you uh, hate hotel. Hotel. if you if you hate the company if you hate the company so much, fucking leave, asshole. Nobody's forcing you to stay there. <laughs> nah, he's he's taking uh, he's taking my approach with Amazon. <laughs> no. 
use everything you can in your power to milk the freaking paychecks and insurance to the other things. That's that's literally what he's doing. You know, it's like, oh, I got a platform where I got like merchandise paychecks for doing nothing. All I need to do is show up, wrestle, and then get injured and disappear for several more months. The only thing it seems I, I, like he's I, taking to me. Forrest Peter Mestel injured? That's what WWE did, and they don't have to talk about me. The only thing it seems like he's taking to me is a giant dump on the sport of professional wrestling. You know, I I just imagine, like, all the a CM heads dump. of the All the uh, heads of the, various wrestling, of the various wrestling organizations gathering, and there's TK, like, Hey guys, listen. So we're gonna get rid of CM Punk. Anybody want him? Uh, WWE uh, says no. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. Um, how, how about you, NWA? Wait. Uh, this is Billy. <laughs> Hi, this is Billy Corgan. We had Tyrus, so we'll take oh. him. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Well, I'm just. <laughs> I would just like to say that he has too much rage for a rat in a cage, even for us. So the answer is no. Yeah. All right. And we had, Thank you, Mr. Corgan. And we had a world champion that said he would literally beat his children for using pronouns. So, you know. Real, real fucking classic. Yeah, classic. Um, okay. Uh, impact. Howdy, y'all. We could afford him if we had a hundred dollar bill stapled to our dick. So no. Okay, thank you, Anthem Sports. Um, how about you, MLW? Hi, this is Court Bauer. I I don't know what he sounds like, but um, we're not that fucking desperate. Okay. Uh, how about you? Who? Uh, Ohio Valley Wrestling. Do we I'm, Al, I'm Al Snow, and I say no. <laughs> yeah, they, they still about... exist. In fact, they're going to have a documentary on Netflix. How about that? I'm pretty sure. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure Al Snow runs the OVW, does he not? Uh, he is uh one of three minority owners, I guess. He was majority owner, but now he's like. One of three people who owns it. I mean, and he's the only one that I know of that's associated with it. So um, he's, he's the head trainer, yeah, because uh, like he's <laughs> he's a big part of that documentary. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> he's the head trainer. <laughs> I get hey. it. I see what you did there because it's Al Snow and it's his gimmick. So oh, TK getting desperate. New Japan. Uh, uh, no waru. So that is no. <laughs> anybody, so if anybody Chris knows what I, if anybody knows what I actually said, uh, it's funny. <laughs> he's he's gonna be crying at some Japanese Pepsi at a karaoke bar. I just. Uh, I'm what just about uh, how about uh, DDT Pro Wrestling? Uh, we uh, had the literal sex doll as a champion, and uh, we still say no. We. We had the we had the guy named Hog Gay, but we still say no. And he was he was very hard and suspiciously gay. Uh, <laughs> control. Your, how about you control your narrative? Racial <laughs> epithets. Okay, cool. Thanks, guy. That reminds me. I was walking around my town this morning, and I I'm saw sorry. a flag. Oh. Yeah, and the flag had the Statue of Liberty, a rifle, a frosty mug of beer, and a pair of tits. Fascinating. LGBT. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Battle ha, show ha, that ha, was ha. I'm Which surprised is, they had this hanging from their freaking porch. It's just another example of how the right doesn't know how to do jokes. I mean, like, it's a funny joke, 
I say that as somebody who's pansexual, I enjoy all of those things. <laughs> so I am I am not only part of that LGBT, I also I'll be enjoy I'm gonna LGBT. beat up my child if he uses pronouns. Well, I say you said a he, that's a pronoun. You should beat yourself up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Two? I mean, uh, I hey. love, uh, I love that, uh, it's, it's like, Tyrus is, is going to retire now. Uh, Good, Tyrus, news, Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. He should, he should oh have, God. yeah, he should have retired yesterday. <laughs> he, he dropped the freaking belt, the freaking e EC3 on top of it all. So, oh, Lord. Yeah. So, so, actually, uh, so control that narrative. Uh, you and actually took my, uh, my oh, and I just welcome. want the freaking strike in Hollywood to end, so Freddie Prince Jr. can start his freaking wrestling work. Mm -hmm. Hell, look at John Cena because of the Hollywood. I can't. Strike, you can't see him. Last up here for WWE now. You said look. Uh -huh. You said you said look at John Cena, but how can you? You can't see him. That's it. You're banned from Saturdays. <laughs> oh no! Whatever will I do? <laughs> well, it's, guess I'm gonna go masturbate. Yep. That has become our favorite joke on freaking digital era on their Discord. <laughs> That's it. You're banned from Saturdays. <laughs> well, guess I'll go masturbate. Oh my! Going back to TK Con, uh, TK, oh, TK Con, TK, <laughs> Tony Cocaine Con, Tony Co Con. Cocaine spelled with a K. <laughs> That's right. It's like Tony Con, just like oh Jesus Christ, I'm getting desperate. Combat Zone Wrestling. Do you want CM Punk? Ew, no. What the hell? <laughs> Proceeds to take us all on his forehead. <laughs> Fucking uh, proceeds to so roll around. Look at Are you using glass? Uh, yeah. That's and almost it's, it's almost exclusively and, what we use. What are you talking about? Is that a is that a saws on your head? Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, you know Who one of the you, big, you know one of the biggest stars in your current company got over originally by taking one to the forehead, right? <laughs> I mean, like, I'm laughing. I'm laughing because freaking Moxley at All In freaking took a bundle of bamboo skewers to the head. And that's like the least threatening thing he's ever had poked on him. Yeah. It's true. Hey, look, cups. And that dude still gets to sleep with Renee Young. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how he gets that. Tony? Yeah, I know. I mean, like, how pissed off must she be after every match he does? Because it's just like within two minutes, oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, Tony Khan. Tony Khan again. Oh, God. Somebody needs to take him. Juggalo Championship Wrestling. How about you I guys? Ima I imagine she's like pissed off for like half a second and then she's. <laughs> then Mock starts fucking her and she's just like, oh, what were you doing? <laughs> He's that good of a lay. <laughs> even, even the juggalos are ignoring Tony Khan. Gay, uh, I'm Violent J, and I'm on crack, and I, even I think he's fucking stupid. Magnets, how do they work? CM Punk, why doesn't he work? Because he's a bitch. <laughs> you know, to be fair, that is a question worth asking right now, because, I mean... If, if he hadn't been suspended at the event, he probably would have been, I don't know, my ankle. I, I heard it during the Pepsi plunge at, with, with, with uh, oh, Samoa no. Joe. Oh, no. I'm CM Punk, and I sprained my pussy. Well, well, Phil, maybe you should have done the Dr. Pepper Death Valley Driver instead, you fucking end. <laughs> Uh, Stevie Richards actually has a uh, YouTube series now called What Went Wrong, where he looks at botched moves and explains how they could have, you know, avoided botching it. 
And in CM Punk's case, CM Punk, how did he? Why? What could have? How could he have not botched the Pepsi plunge? Well, he could have started by never signing with AEW. It's true. Yeah, because because half of that was the fact that Joe was so big that Punk could not freaking get his arms on him to do the move. Correct. They didn't. They didn't get enough elevation. They didn't get get enough of a jump. No, they don't. The they, they canceled. They canceled oh. dark elevation. <laughs> oh no! I, I I miss I miss dark elevation. But I digress. No, jam back jokes. Thank you, thank you, Taz. <laughs> but I digress. Hey, Cole. Wait, this idea is AEW. The Cole's not here. Uh, Excalibur. <laughs> Such a freaking trap, Excalibur. So, uh, meanwhile, Excalibur just, you know, doing his best Micro Machine Man impression. <laughs> From Galoob. Yeah, what a Galoob. <laughs> uh, honestly, I mean, I kind of want to see AEW Micro Machines <laughs> just so Excalibur has to do the athlete for it. <laughs> it's just a CM Punk figure because, you know, he is a car crash. I, I listen. Oh, I thought you were going to say he was a micro machine. As long as Hard. John Machida Jr. is still living and breathing, let him do the yeah. micro machine. Yeah. Oh my We've lost enough people lately. You know, you listen. Uh, not not that I want to be mad at death, but you take Bray Wyatt, but you leave Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell is literally a fucking walking zombie now. Okay. Yeah, it's true. He turned into a freaking loading screen again. But he. Mitch McConnell, that EXE stopped working, and people are like, "No, I, I don't see a problem with this." Can we just? Uh... Oh, he's eighty-one years old. Yeah, unplug him, please. Well, maybe <laughs> that's the problem. Maybe he needs to be unplugged and plugged back, back in. No, I mean literally, it's like no, Mr. don't do McConnell. that, because then he'll just turn into Tucker Carlson. I mean. <laughs> It's getting to the point where it's like, Mr. McConnell, what are we going to do about the gun reform? McConnell.exe. Mr. McConnell.exe, stop responding. Damn it. He blue screened again. What the? How do you burn Fuchsia screen to death? What the fuck is that even? Mitch McConnell just comes preloaded with Windows 95. Ugh. That's the problem. Not 95. Millennium Edition. Oh, God. No. No, no, even worse. No, even worse. Oh, no. Even worse. Wait a second. Windows Vista. Uh, Listen. (laughs) I don't know know if it was Mistake Edition or Vista Aids. What what the hell? He got loaded with Windows Mojave. (laughs) Mojave. Somebody's got a somebody. Somebody's got to do a, a strip down of Mitch McConnell and put Ubuntu on him, so he'll actually be able to operate halfway decent. <laughs> we we just realized Mitch McConnell is still running Prodigy software. That's the problem. Yeah, that is a problem. I mean, to be fair, I booted up my old laptop the other day uh, to. Uh, to, to watch the AEW uh, pay per view with people online, and uh, and your computer suggested you punch seven. yourself in the cunt. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the thing's running Windows Seven, and Google Chrome popped up with a freaking warning going, "You can no longer update Windows Chrome, as this is Windows Seven. Please upgrade to Windows 10. I'm like, <laughs> that's not even the most recent. All. That's not even the latest Windows. It's telling you to upgrade to a a, a Windows that's not even in date anymore. 
Windows 11 oh, is Windows the Windows that will soon be outdated anyway. I mean, that's yeah. Like, that's like trying to to run stuff on a Windows or a fucking iPhone 4. I'm like, what, what, what the hell's going on here? True. I think I still got an iPhone 4 somewhere around the house, actually. Oh, man. If you sell that, you'll get five dollars <laughs> if, if i can recover my old iCloud account then you, i might then be you'll able get ten dollars uh, i might be able to send it to a youtuber who likes to cover like shit that gets discontinued because like have you ever heard of stop skeletons from fighting yes no yeah see uh He's, he's got this great series about uh, games you can't play on uh, anymore because whatever platform they were on was discontinued. Case in point, there are a bunch of games that you can't get anymore on, like, Android or iOS because they updated the operating system, but they never updated the apps to work with the updated operating system. So, like... Yeah, the iPhone 4 or, like, iPhone 5, like, those can run some apps on them that, like, modern phones can't touch at all. You know, games and stuff like that. That's the crazy thing about, like, you know, case in point, Stop Skeletons from Fighting did a whole video on the Zeebo. You know, while you... While you fucking jackasses are are arguing about Nintendo versus Microsoft versus PlayStation, I'm gonna go join my Google Stadia. Excuse me, please. <laughs> but see, me- meanwhile, the fine folks in Mexico and and uh, Brazil, at one point, while the Nintendo Wii was the hottest thing, were enjoying their Zebos. Zemo. I mean, you're not saying much about Brazil. Brazil also had an interest in the uh, Sega Master System long after that thing was relevant in the States. So, Exactly. Oh. Zemo uh, ran on glorified freaking flip phone software. I'm looking at a picture. Can we get, the, can we get a picture of the Zemo? God, this thing looks fucking weird. It's, it's about as bad as the Ouya. Oh. Actually, worse. Because, <laughs> again, it ran on glorified phone software. Yo, if you played that in the middle of a covered deck in your backyard, would you be playing a Zebo in a gazebo? You know what? Uh, you can finish I'm this surprised. Can finish this I'm surprised. <laughs> Are you afraid of the dark joke yet? Am I banned from Saturdays? You are banned from Saturdays. <laughs> Well, uh, because because uh, that was the uh, reoccurring villain in several. Oh, Are you afraid of the dark? Episodes? Yeah, I was trying to yeah, connect. Zemo I was trying to well. connect the dots because I I knew I'd heard the the name before in some other context, but I couldn't connect yeah. the dots. In fairness, I did just get over a literal twenty four hour migraine, so I'm just like not able to think <laughs> straight right now. <laughs> Thinking straight. I, I, I had suit. those migraines. You know, you'll have to forgive me, Jace. I'm suffering from Salmonella Fitzgerald. Sound <laughs> <laughs> Sound <laughs> don't. <laughs> sounds sounds kind of like that uh, jazz lady. <laughs> you have to lick a monkey. Don't don't ask me where you'll get a monkey this late at night, though. Uh, in the, case of swine maybe, flu, maybe the glass. Maybe the Bronx Zoo. Well, don't. Well, uh, I hope CM Punk doesn't break uh, get swine flu then. Wow! <laughs> oh man, that was certainly a, a, cer- certainly a, uh, a a sight gag of the times. The uh, mm-hmm. the lesser the lesser lesser known. That's the lesser-known Harry Styles song, Sight Gag of the Times. Uh, so he uh, he breaks the glass and Emerald comes out. Bam! Look at that vacant sizzle! 
Bam! Want to take it from here, Emerald? Bam! I mean, uh -huh. Emerald, Emerald literally is the early 2000s. Like, late 90s, early 2000s. Like, they gave him a sitcom. Emerald is the nineties. He he he's nineteen ninety 1990 to nineteen ninety nine. Did you not know that? <laughs> I did. I did not know that. Uh, he's, he's he's also Uncle Celebrity. Uncle Celebrity, are you mad? He's he's uh, he's from Fall Reeve. Mm hmm. One of my uh, one of my teachers actually had him in uh, high school. I had him. Now I'm gonna have you. Yeah, she taught him math in high school. Better than around here, mm. you just usually get taught meth. <laughs> you know, you know what? You, you're banned from next Thursday. Um, <laughs> can I have that in writing? No, oh, just kidding. Sure. I'll get right on that. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, uh, sir, the Squishmallows are revolting. Listen, you're not that great looking yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm surprised that's a piece of merchandise that, uh, it slash Bethesda hasn't made yet a freaking uh, cacodemon squishmallow. Why would you? Why would you want to subject children to that? I don't know. I'm sure they. I'm sure the squishmallow version of a cacodemon would look a lot less, a lot more alluring to a child than than the actual cacodemon. Right. It would look. A, it would look a lot more uh, chibi. I sincerely yeah. doubt. I think it would just be like, oh. I'm pretty well, sure there are get... versions of it of there there are plushes of caco demons that look way more chibi than the actual caco demons. Yeah. Really, I'm pretty sure they probably exist. Oh, no, I would almost that. I would almost guarantee that they exist. Wow! I finally finished the fuck factory. I guess we'll find out next time on Game Gross. Yes. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Uh, for Dane, Fortune, and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everybody.